Well, this is the most marvelous invention way ahead of its time. This is a sales pitch. <laughs> this is a, a special friend because <laughs> you know what it'll do? It'll cook your food, it'll heat your water, it'll, did you notice on the side there? It heats your water too. It'll heat your water, cook so your food and keep in. And what water is that heating? Is the that same, same water as downstairs. The pipes go up the, through the chimney from the bottom stove and these go into the chimney and hook into the same pipes. So you, there's three ways to heat that water then. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. Okay, there's the antifreeze from, from the- Solar. The south solar. There's the generator. No. No, there's the wood-fired boiler. Yes. And then there's here, the yeah. thinly oval stove. Yeah. So may you never you have never a, run may that. you never have a cold shower <laughs> unless you want to. So and it also heats your house, of course. And the nice thing about it is so far advanced for any cook stove today because it, you got infinitely variable amounts of heat. You just by moving your pot down the stove, you can have whatever heat you wish. And if that's too hot, you can put it up in the warming oven. It's just a miraculous thing, and it's also got an oven, of course. The broiler's on the top. And this is the wood box down here? No. No. The wood box is in here. And it's got fire brick around it, which is a little bit, uh, it's not fragile, but you don't want to go throwing stuff into it. That's, that's, I've replaced the fire. That's supposed to have a hole there? No, that's, uh, yes it is. <laughs> Uh, you see these, you can shake the ashes down. Ah, okay. Oh, well, no, there is a, th a chunk out of it. I never noticed that. There, we'll turn it over. That's not no chunk now. Just the one side. <laughs> Did you see what it, So I that's did? what you wanted Marsh to learn how to do? Oh, she does how to do that. <laughs> now, if you, ha if you don't shake it down before you light it, the air can't get up under the fire. Yeah. Now, it has fire brick around it that you can still buy. And you have to replace that every once in a while. It'll get How eat. often? I've done it when I bought it, got the stove and once other time in 17 years. And you can get that from the stove guy at Below Durham. There's a guy there with, works with antique stoves. What's his name, do you remember? No. Okay. Durham. Durham, south of Durham. This control here allows the smoke, there's a hole there, see? It allows the smoke to go straight up the chimney. You need it like that to light it or it'll smoke. You need it there or it'll smoke when you light it. Once the chimney gets warm, you turn that over there and shut that down. You see that shut? Open, shut. Now the smoke can't go out there, can it? So it goes across the top of the stove, down this side of the oven, across the oven, and then out the back and up. So it's going, now it's heating the oven. Amazing. And also that's the best place to have it if you're wanting to heat the house, open the oven door. Now, back up just a wee bit. You got uh, ways of letting you got ways of letting air in under the fire. To start it, you never need to do anything with that. Leave that one off. This one here, open this one up to start the fire. Open it to start the fire. I put that across there to start. Those two things and then the fire will start well. And you shut them. Yeah, you, know, you want to slow the fire down, shut this thing off. I never use that. What is that one supposed to do? Well, it's supposing you got a chimney fire, you could shut it off so no air would go up the chimney. But that's never happened. And if you needed to do that, how would you do that? Turn, turn it crossways. Okay. 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 What's... Well, I've never used that, but... 
This is meant to hold water, which we've never used. And that sends the smoke out around this thing to heat, to heat the water. Is that, is that called the water jacket? The, what, it's called the water jacket at the other end. Okay. I think this is called a red water. But why haven't you used it? Because we've got water, hot water at the tap. This okay. is before they had indoor plumbing. Okay. Okay. And so you you would heat water in there for like your bath or something? Or? Well, my mother did it when I was young, yeah. Yeah. It would be washed dishes. You'd okay. have a big dipper to dip it out. Well, well, actually, you, you, they did it another way too. This water jacket that we have down on this end, the, in the olden days, it, we had this, which was better than that. We had a tank sitting up beside the stove, and the water would get heated in this in this thing here, and then you you didn't have a tap at the sink or nothing, but you could open the tap on this tank and take a pailful of hot water. So, Don, what is this? Uh, what's that down there? You see the devil's things, don't you? <laughs> That's my air extinguisher. There's, <laughs> there's, get a shower right there, John, you can see it. There's cold water, cold air coming in from outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I was going to bring it and put it right into the stove. Right. This house was built before you, it was law to have to have an air exchanger, but they were talking about it. Okay. And I thought, well, I'll make my own air exchanger. I won't hook it to the stove. So when the stove's going, if it needs air, it'll lift that flap and it'll bring air in from outside, which will get heated immediately right inside the stove. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we did. Now, uh, actually, and also the, the time that, the times that could be the most critical in the house would be if you didn't have any air for the stove in from outside and you started the dryer let's say, that exhausts the air out of the house, it would smoke, suck smoke back down the chimney and out of the stove into the house. So this makes sure that there's no, at no time is there a negative pressure in the house. So there's nothing you have to do with that? It works. Oops. And what's that connected to? Where does it go? It goes down and up to the basement wall by that back door. Okay, straight exit. And other than the dryer, is there a way Another way that the air goes out of the house? No. Open the window. Okay. So you put the wood in there? Put it in, the top. Usually here. In the top? And if you got a big big stick, put it in there. Uh, and then air. So this is the hottest area and this is the least hot? That's right. If you're cooking things? Yeah. Whoa! And this is the temperature inside. Yep. And what's uh, what's the function of this? It's so that when I'm showing it to people, they have a question I can't answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and these? That's where you shake it down the ashes. Okay, right. You turn over those things, there, right? Yeah, there's a thing. The ashes there's fall crank, down. And then come there's a crank there. up in here to do it, see? And always do, always do that before you light it. Every time? Me? Every time? Yeah. Every day. Now, in here is the ashes. And you take them out and dump them. Whenever it gets full. And I use that same thing for taking the ashes out from downstairs. It's for your shoes or the stove? That's for the stove. There's black stuff, you, there's a black stuff you to make the stove blacker. It's over in the, under the sink. To make the stove blacker? What is it? To clean it? Guck. To clean it? Guck. Is it good stuff? No, it's terrible stuff to use. You need rubber rubs on it. That'd be the stove polish paste. That's right. That's what I was wondering about. But it's bad for you. Oh, it is. Well, don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never eaten it, no. How often do you polish the stove? Oh, once a month. 
When companies come in. Okay, anything else from the on the inside of the house that you want to tell us about? No. Okay. Not that I can think of. There probably we will be, but it'll come up. Okay. So when you're laying the stove, same thing, you fill it with as much wood as you can and burn it hot and fast? Well, yeah, yeah, well, no, no, no not at all. So well, I, that's if you're using it for heating, okay. But if you're cooking a, cook a meal with it, you don't want to get the oven over hot and burn things. So it, it, it's a very careful balancing act. Some people even, the size of the stick of wood that you keep in while you're baking a cake, you know, and is the temperature of the oven going up or down when you're doing it? It takes a lot of practice to get it to, so you maintain a constant temperature in the oven. So any advice? Practice. Okay. And I, I think you already know that to light, light a fire, cedar's the best thing for kindling. Yeah. Much better than anything else. <laughs>